Hey friends, so today I'm going to take you guys through all of chapter 7, which has been recently completed. So if you're interested in seeing how a traditional media comic comes together, keep watching. For chapter 7, we're going to start off by looking at the thumbnails. I have each outfit change marked here with a little tag, and they were completed in my sketchbook. You might remember my chapter flip through for chapter, or rather my outfit flip through for chapter eight. Um, that was when I decided to have a book, a standalone book for outfit designs. So for my thumbnails, I do them. Actually, we shouldn't start with thumbnails at all. Forget I said any of that. Let us go back in time. Zoop, 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 zoop. And we're going to go to my script. And you guys can see I work moderately tight script. I will start with a platform script and then kind of develop that out into a tighter script that involves, um, it describes like panel layouts, it describes shot choices, it describes like close up or pull out, etc. And then I do a what's called a layout. So it's like a little bitty thumbnail sketch, very loose, underneath that page of script. And I do that. See, I have a floor plan here. And at this stage, I also have my beta readers or my friends, usually they're the same, uh, kind of go through and help me find any potential flaws. So I may do multiple versions of a shot. That became that right there. Before I settle on what I call a tight thumbnail, which are these thumbnails here. And my patrons should have access to my, I know they have access to my chapter six comic materials. I can give them access to chapter seven if I haven't already. And sometimes I will draw my thumbnails a little bit tighter like for chapter eight, I'm drawing fairly tight thumbnails. For chapter seven though, I kept it really simple. They're slightly drawn out stick figures. I make notes. So I want my thumbnails to be tight enough that a stranger can kind of get the gist of what's going on. And sometimes if I haven't decided on character outfits, like in chapter seven, I hadn't decided on character outfits when I was doing this chapter. So I will just go ahead and put like a character notation on their head. And that way I'm not redesigning outfits. You can get four thumbnails on a page and these thumbnail templates are really easy to find online. There's lots of different versions. So if you like to do the entire chapter in one go, there's a template for that. And then after I finished all of my thumbnails, I start roughing things out so you guys can see the perspective grid lines. I still do all this by hand. You can do perspective grids though in Manga Studio and there's lots of great tutorials on how to do that. So my roughs are much tighter than my thumbnails. But there's still no color notes, not really. And this is still a, a stage where I might make significant changes from what's drawn here to what the finished page looks like. And there's still loads of notes on the page for what I need to do. So from this stage, I will scan these and then I'll print out blue lines on Canton Montval watercolor paper. And I've actually covered all of these stages in depth over at natasoup.blogspot.com in the Intro to Comic Craft section and in the Watercolor Basics section. Just wanted to kind of show off how Chapter 7 came together. I don't think I've shown anyone all of the finished pages in one place. And I don't think I've shown you guys all the finished pages in one place. So I work all the way through the chapter. So I paint all the pages in a chapter and I usually paint in batches running anywhere from two pages in a batch to four to six pages in a batch. It really depends on what my capacity is and how many pages are in each scene. I do try to paint a scene at a time. That way I can get color and lighting consistency throughout the scene. And then when the whole chapter is finished, I will scan 
color correct border and letter the chapter in one go. And I do my lettering digitally with a custom made font based on an alphabet I created for 7 inch Kara so it looks handwritten and it looks like it was done in color pencil and people actually assume I hand letter my chapters which no I do not. I don't have consistent handwriting and it would just drive me bonkers. And these are 11 by 14 pages. This is 11 by 14 Canson Montval. And I like Canson Montval because it comes in the ratio closest. You can get it in a size that's the closest ratio to 11 by 17 that I can get in pre cut watercolor paper. And yes, I could cut my own watercolor paper, but I am painting hundreds of watercolor comic pages. I really need to find whatever I can to make this process accessible and easy to do. I believe this chapter has almost 30 pages in it. It's got an epilogue to it, which kind of wraps up the chapter. So there's the epilogue. And I decided to do that since we had a pretty significant tonal shift. And it was information I still wanted to cover, but I didn't think it was necessary to include it in the chapter proper, if that makes sense. And I've had volume out, one out in print since 2014. I'm working on getting volume two finished and I hope to kickstart it this year in 2018. And I have everything up to the second volume available to read for free at 7inchcare.com or 7inchcare.tumblr.com. So if you guys have any questions that I didn't cover in this video, stuff you want to see me cover more in depth, please let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for tutorials on how to paint your own watercolor comics, head on over to the watercolor basics section of natosoup.blogspot.com. And if you're curious, I actually think I have two separate videos on painting process for this particular chapter. So I would love it if you guys would check those out as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to these pages going live. I certainly am. I worked really hard on this chapter and I can't wait to share the chapter with you guys. So have a great day guys. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye!